So I went to the doctor, and there was like four of them. There was two doctors and two nurses, and all of them were looking at me like, you poor, pitiful bastard. You know, um, and, it, you know, the one doctor, he was just like really blunt. He was like, well, you know you tested positive, don't you? I'm like, positive for what? You know, mind you, I'm still thinking they're going to talk to me about high cholesterol, you know. He said, well, for the HIV antibody. And, um, It was a, a wild moment. Um, back then, people tested positive and died shortly after. You know, this is all pre-pills and um, cocktails and protease inhibitors, all pre that. Um, all there was was AZT. And that was as damaging for a lot of people as HIV was. I had got adopted into another family. I did foster homes and all of that. And I really wasn't close to them. Um, some people's reaction were more of along the line of, you must have been doing something that you had no business doing, so this is the result. And we're really not surprised. Um, some people were scared to be around me because, you know, there were still a lot of questions back then um, about transmission and, um, and once again, this is not a large city, you know, and Virginia's kind of Bible belt delicious, you know, it's right in that, you know, area. And, um, you know, it was, it was frightening, it was scary, and it was lonely. A few weeks ago, somebody asked me if I could go back go back to being 16 and wipe it all away and never be HIV positive, would I do so? And you would think the automatic response would be, oh yeah, of course, you know. But I thought about it. You know, I've had HIV longer than I, had, than I hadn't had it, you know. Um, it's an integral part of me. Um, it's a part of my makeup, and it has contributed to who I am as a person today in unbelievable ways, so I'm not really sure if I would change it. Somebody newly tested, like, my God, be thankful you didn't happen to you 20 years ago. Um, your options are almost unlimited now. You can make it a gift or a curse. That choice is really yours. Um, and somebody risky behaviors who doesn't believe that it can happen to them. Wow, especially somebody who was like the age I was at when I was 16. You have this thing, nothing can happen to me. I'm young and I'm strong. It can. And if you give enough opportunities, eventually that gun in the chamber will, you know. But it's not a death sentence anymore. It can be a life experience. I mean, it could be diabetes, it could be a lot of things. It just happened for me, it was HIV.